Here we've got some uh, oil seed radish variety not stated. It's a daikon type radish. You, you'll see it um, in the grocery stores. It's called a Japanese radish or a daikon radish, daikon radish. Um, there are many varieties of the daikon type radish. Um, you know, the, the, their leaf growth and root growth, most of them are fairly similar, but there are some on each end of the spectrum that are quite different. Uh, this one here um, is, you know, oilseed rat, radish variety not stated, daikon type. Uh, you will so, see some people say, don't plant oilseed radish, you need a daikon radish. Well, this is the same thing. Uh, <clears throat> in fact, this radish here, the source we buy it from, they label it for uh, other seed companies and, and they call it cover crop radish, uh, you know, uh, stubble radish and things like that. Uh, I guess we sell it for what it is and, and that's what it is. Uh, you know, these are some pretty good typical examples of it. You can see that long root. This one was probably from the second planting, um, but that root was about that deep in the ground. The radishes don't come on quite as quick as the Winford Hybrid or the Purple Top Turnip. Um, the cattle will graze these. Uh, they'll eat the leaves as well as the above ground portion of the tuber. <clears throat> the amount of the bulb that sticks out above the ground can have a little to do with varietal difference, but it has more to do with planting depth. And in most situations like this, they get planted fairly shallow because you're mixing all the seed together. You don't want to plant most brassica seed like grapes, turnips, canolas, any more than a half inch deep, a quarter of an inch is perfect. A radish seed is, is about the size of sorghum sedan or seed, and you want to plant it a little deeper, three quarters of an inch, even up to an inch. If you plant them very shallow, you're more likely to have more of the root come out. The deeper you plant them, the more likely you are to have you know, less of the root sticking up above the ground. The other thing is, when these radishes go down and they hit hard compaction layers <clears throat> that they have trouble forcing through, they try and find a way to force through there, that growth has to go somewhere while it's trying to find a way through. Uh, the harder, more compacted the site, the more growth you're gonna see above the ground. And here's a little bit of an example of that. This one here, he, he, he went down and, and hit some trouble here and took a little bit of a jog. And as you can see, there was quite a bit more of it sticking above the ground. These, will, these bulbs could gain another inch or inch and a half in girth. And uh, uh, you know they, they've got pretty decent top growth on them. Uh, they, they, they always aren't that perfect shape like you see in the grocery store. Um, those that you see in the grocery store or you might see in some brochures and things where it's a perfect perfect root looks something similar to this only it's 18 or 20 inches long probably wasn't grown out here in this field. That was probably grown in a vegetable field where they have the very best soil, really mellow soil that uh, there's no compaction and those roots just they just go deep because they have nothing to hold them back. A typical crop situation like this, there's some compaction, and that's why a lot of people plant them, is to go down and break up that compaction layers. Uh, th this, this one here, um, you know, <clears throat> doing a good job. This tap root, I just pulled these. I didn't bother to dig them. I just grabbed them and slowly wiggled them and pulled slow. And uh, th this root here, I, I would guess it's probably down another foot, foot and a half. And as it this root, uh, it, this one here, it wouldn't surprise me if we left him, would have gone down another six inches with this big portion of the root. Uh, these here were planted in early August. We've probably got about 60 days of growth on these and they've done very well in that time. Uh, like I said earlier, there's probably uh, at least another 30 days of growth here, maybe more. The radishes aren't quite as frost tolerant as the turnips and, and not nearly as frost tolerant as the uh, Winford hybrid brassica, but uh, the, they will take you know reasonable amount of frost. The, these are good to eat, uh, so are the purple top turnips. Um, I, I, I like to just peel them and eat them raw. Um, some people like to peel them and, and cut these in little little discs and stir fry them uh, till they're nice and crisp. Uh, they're good that way, um, but uh, I, I guess I kind of prefer the turnips over the radish overall. And eating them and I like them raw. Some people don't like them raw and would rather eat them cooked.